Tech Air, this is Fish Finder. Tech Air, go ahead. I've got visual on multiple hostiles in a roof south of LRP Butler. Might be the AQI headquarters you're looking for. Roger, I'll get third squad tasked to clear them out. Third squad, this is Spartan 3. Iron Mountain Convoy is en route to the LRP. ETA, 20 mics. Secure and hold that AQI complex until the convoy's on site with resupply. Are you, are you dead? dead? No, 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 I'm incapacitated. You can pick me up. Why are you incapacitated? Oh, dead you're now. dead now. How are you dead? Can we help him up? I'm, I'm, I'm back up. There's one revive per team, and uh, I've been picked up. We've got to take that flag down, but there's a snap on the roof. I very much appreciate the sound design. No, just wait till you're indoors. Pushing up. Oh, this guy is carrying me. Alright, we'll clear it together. right ahead of us. Okay, I almost shot him. Oh my god, this game has vaulting, dude. And it hasn't been in production for seven years. But goddamn. Oh goddamn, son. Oh, we gotta clear this. First stack up! Up. Well, I'm you going with my shotgun, man. man. All right, reach it. Flashlights on. It's a flashlight. Oh, okay. X. Uh, Got yeah, my, my first try, man. Good shit, man. Watching down the hallway. Watch upstairs. Yeah. I got these corners. On your six. Yeah. Are you upstairs? No, yeah. Coming back to the stairway. Okay. Oh. Oh. Let me go first if you're hurt. Pick me up. I'm Ow. Get well. Get well. Oh. oh. F. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got him. Are you good? Oh my god. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh. That's what you call a me shield. Can I sell your gun? I'm on the roof of that building with a flag. Oh, we got another sniper. Running back inside. Watch out, man. They were uh, southbound. Wait, Wait, this, this game, game kind of good, good, man. man. Sound design's pretty Dude, good. Dude, the sound, sound design, design is... Wow. As good as... Tango down. Dude, I'm not sure about the sniper. Watch out south. To southwest. We gotta steer clear of this building. Wait, you have bearings? Fair, do you have a compass? I do, for some reason. Oh, we don't have that. <laughs> oh, it might be the class. It might be the class, you're an assist class. 
There you go. You got the shotgun, you got all shit. Oh, you can't you talk, you're dead. dead. Oh, sorry. Shut up. Shut up. Nice shot. I got your six. I'm in. Reloading. I'm back on the upstairs. I'm gonna clear the rest of the ground floor. I don't like this. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I uh, disarmed a weapon cache. I'm moving up. Whoa! Whoa. Opposite, opposite building on the roof. Down. We keep moving through these compounds. Kind of scared from the open. Squad three, we've reached the complex. One down. Watch out. I'm reloading. Push him in. Two down. Move it in. Watch your fire. Tango down. Good shit. Another one. I got stairs. I got you. There go. Watch your muzzle. I'm sorry, we gotta take a break right here, cause currently I'm not allowed to show any more footage, but you know, spoiler alert, we ended up completing the mission. I'll show it in the next video, don't worry. But wow, dude, about the game. As you guys already know, Six Days in Fallujah is a very unique video game that pushes the boundaries of realism in pretty much all military-based shooters. So a standout feature of the game is its commitment to authenticity and its mechanics. The weapon handling is meticulously designed, providing players with an immersive and accurate experience experience of what it feels like to use those tools in a combat scenario. Not that I know anything about real combat scenarios, but I did start going to the range, so I can at least vouch for the weapon handling to a certain degree. But in the game, firearms do behave as they would in real life, with an emphasis on recoil, reloading, aiming systems, and similarly, the game features a realistic character movement system. You know, your characters do feel like they have some weight to them. You can't just mindlessly sprint with all that gear. You can vault over obstacles. And in particular, the game's mechanics for breaching doors, you know, as a vital tactical maneuver in urban warfare. Dude, those are pretty damn good. But hey, the one thing that absolutely blew my mind in this game is its sound design. Dude, you know how in some games if the sound is bad, it just feels like a total fail? Well, this is quite the opposite, right? So the moment you spawn in, it's so good. It's incredibly immersive capturing the intensity and the chaos, the sounds of gunfire, explosions, and the ambient battlefield noise are... They're also finely crafted, you know, to increase the authenticity of the game's atmosphere. The game of course promotes teamwork and coordination through its communication mechanics. Players can effectively interact with each other. Can I sell your gun? But get this, it's got procedurally generated maps. So this quite innovative feature ensures that no two experiences of the same map are identical with the layout changing each time. So this not only adds replay value, but also reflects the unpredictable and complex nature of urban warfare. 
So in summary, Six Days in Fallujah is a game that aims to bring an unprecedented level of realism to the military shooter genre, delivering an immersive experience of a significant historical event through its detailed mechanics, highly sophisticated sound design, and innovative map system. And until I can provide some more information, you can just go ahead and watch this like 5 or 17 times, I won't mind. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.